What up, people? Good morning. Good morning. By the time you see this, it'll be evening. We're filming a little early today, but uh, we're getting breakfast and lunch ready. <laughs> Forgot to make a sandwich or something before we left, so we bought some ham and cheese and crackers, and we're making a little. Figured, why not? Thing here. I think it was like five bucks for that thing. Yeah, so five bucks Ooh, feed us seven dollars. Oh, will feed us for breakfast and lunch. Three dollars and fifty cents each to feed us for the day. So not bad. Uh, once again, Danielle's uh, she's got home from work, so she's gonna go sleep, and then uh, we're heading out to the property because by now, you know, we bought a freaking tractor. We did. Well, or my mooching. Well, he, he's mooching. No, nah, we uh, we both co-signed for it, and uh, we'll be making the payments and stuff. And uh, like I mentioned on the video that I posted, which will probably be out a little bit earlier than this one. Uh, the goal is to try to pay it off whenever I sell my land and uh, not have to have a million payments on it. But once again, uh, Tracy from uh, the, what is it, the uh, Performance Outdoors out in Sapupa? Yeah. How do you say it? Sapulpa? Sapulpa. Sapulpa. Sapulpa, Sapulpa, uh, Sapulpa, Sapulpa, Tractors. Excellent customer service once again. Uh, you guys saw him in the video. Freaking phenomenal. Yeah. He was funny. <laughs> he got our sense of humor. Uh, before we filmed, I was just joking with him. I said, uh, that cup holder right there, can that fit a, a tall boy, 24 ounce of beer? And he's like, heck yeah. And then uh, later on when we were filming, <laughs> when he mentioned something about a, it could fit a 40, I was like, all right. Yeah. At that moment, I knew this tractor was gonna be ours. You were in love with the tractor. Um, yeah, but that's something that, you know, we kind of talked about too is, you know, uh, probably not, the uh, smartest thing to be getting out of debt is getting a tractor. But I was killing myself out there. So were you? Uh, yeah, literally. Damn, we would go home and just be dead tired, and then look back and be like, "Man, we cleared out like very little. Uh, we need to do something about this." And so, as you guys know, I have my Jeep, and I've been wanting to uh, potentially sell that. Um, I was I was actually talking to a guy to set or to trade my Jeep and. And a dirt bike for a tractor it was actually a smaller tractor almost twice as small as this one that uh, we got and uh, I mean we needed this we needed it pretty bad and uh, it's really gonna help and I think you guys are gonna see in our videos big progress yeah. um, I know in Jared's live chat a lot of people were mad they were like this is clickbait you didn't tell us the big news well we didn't want to ruin the surprise of yeah. uh, getting the tractor and stuff but uh as you guys know now i mean you talk about big thing all right jared he's all talented <laughs> um but yeah it's we're getting it delivered today so we're heading out to the property and yeah. uh i don't know i think my next video that'll be out i think i don't even know today, probably thursday uh, by the time i'm back home uh it's gonna be basically showing you guys i guess the before and after of what it like how much work it actually was compared to like it's still a yeah. lot of work, but it's going to be so much easier on like me physically and on Jason physically. It and could take us hours to knock out a spot or just get the brush hog and run it over. And I'll be honest. Um, You're never honest or what? Well, I'll just be honest about this. We've had a few people, friends, hit us up to have tractors and oh, yeah. brush hogs and stuff like that. And they were going to come out and it just didn't work out um, for that. We didn't expect to go get a tractor and leave with one we were just kind of looking and we didn't even think they would have much inventory anything like that and it just happened that they had a bunch of in inventory they were super nice uh our credit was good enough the you know the down payment which... i was freaking shocked when we pulled up first off we pulled up because google took us somewhere yeah and it was like to an empty field or something and it was basically where they were at, but on the other side of trees. He said that's on a what different it, road. Google takes everybody there, so we were kind of upset. We're like, man, we like we drove this far, and then yeah. uh, we drove around the highway, and we're like, I guess that's it. We looked down, and oh my gosh, it was down on a slope, but they had tons a ton. of tractors, as y'all saw, a bunch of implements, stuff like that. I think they're the largest Mahindra dealer, um, or had that mo largest inventory, and I believe it because when we went and looked for the Mahindra tractor down there for my dad in South Texas. They had a, a selection, but not anywhere was near that, that. Was that pre-pandemic, though? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. and I, But this is Darren, yeah. and they had a huge selection. So, so. I was talking with Tracy over there, and uh, 
he was saying like just tell all about stuff and then he said a uh, fun fact he's like y'all see that old you, did you see the old tractor in there uh, we didn't show it on video which we should have that'd have been cool um i'm sure we'll be back yeah we could probably go back and film something but uh they have an old Mahindra tractor and he said that that was the very first one that they made in the united states like the exact one and i thought that was pretty cool to be able to see that and they said it still fires up and runs yep. and everything um and of course every business will say it but you know they say Mahindra is the tractor that will last a lot of time like you can't beat it up like you you know it's meant to take abuse and i believe it um you know our dad has one and he loves it and uh i know a couple other youtube channels that have them they love it uh nothing against other you know brands and stuff if y'all have them but everything that we heard about john deere just wasn't a fan of even as small as like lawnmowers yeah i was just going based off my experience with my my riding mower of course i got the cheapest one you can get well, so dad's was a little more expensive and that one's still and kept messing up with jerry too talking yeah, about it his tractor kind of messed up um he just basically said you're paying for the paint. Yeah, and I know Cole Beer has a, a John Deere, so no no bashing on Cole Beer. That was the main reason why we wanted to go with Mahindra. We didn't want to be like Cole Beer. Pretty much. Um, oh, that's probably them calling right there. Oh, well, shoot dang. Let me uh, let me pause this real quick. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so what are the odds we were just talking about Tracy, and that was him that actually just uh, called, said he's getting ready to load up the tractor. Uh, Jason is sending him the coordinates to the property and uh we're gonna be heading out over there and he but, might beat us there yeah he might uh well he said he was loading it up and stuff but uh yeah we're gonna go head out there and put this tractor to work for the first time i'm yeah. excited it's pretty cool i mean again i think we said it earlier uh we were going just to go look we didn't really truly expect i didn't at least i didn't expect to walk out having the keys yeah um I, I thought they probably wouldn't have a big inventory maybe we'll just run some credit see what we need to put down and everything and it was literally zero down um i don't know if they're running a special or it was just the credit was good enough or both and a rebate i think yeah the rebate and stuff like that was um on there and so um it worked out and we got the uh implements the uh brush hog and um Box cutter. The box blade the for box it. Blade. I don't know which one. I think the box blade is the uh, six, six footer, foot. and then the the brush hogs five. It's be, that's what they had. Um, but I think what we were talking about before was, uh, you know, Cole Beer's got a, a John Deere and stuff. And then I was saying, you know, we have friends and stuff that were saying that they can come up and help and stuff. And uh, you know, we were gonna have some friends come out and help. Very, very limited people going out there. Yeah, and, but. You know, yeah, we were going to have some people come out that, you know, we really trust and stuff. But um, it just worked out that we got a tractor that now we can get some work done. Um, so, I mean, clearly the other people have tractors probably know more than we do. So maybe they can still show us a thing or two. But And I, I, I've only driven a tractor. I drove Dad's tractor maybe for five minutes yeah. um, so when I get on it's gonna take a little bit of learning I know there'll be some people like saying you can do it this way it like, don't matter it's a learning curve and yeah. I'm excited and I bet by Give the it a end of the bit. month it'll be enough to where we can easily be able to maneuver it and stuff and yeah uh, Jason and I were already talking about certain projects we want to hit up first um, this just makes honestly when I came up here I didn't think that I was gonna be working on the house anytime soon yeah. but having this tractor now can get it where we can it can be where this house is uh going to be started very very soon yeah. that makes me super excited and then also just being able to clean up around the shop and uh the help or i guess fix up the bridge area and then start digging out a pond as well so yeah just a bunch of stuff that we needed uh fix the uh roadways out there there's i mean it's just kind of like paths that were kind of now, carved out from driving i guess we can end this video with, with uh you were talking to tracy asking him about Basically, we told them that there's people, that, obviously people that watch our videos all over and that they might ask about uh, getting a tractor specifically from them. What did yes. he say on that part exactly? Um, he said that they can help. They, if, if you guys are interested in that video, um, his number's on there. And uh, Just he talk, said, talk it out with him. He's had people, um, he said that, because he used to sell motorcycles and stuff too back in the day, that they'd fly in, he'd pick them up from the airport, 
They'd go do paperwork, talk out all the details, and then they would leave. They'd get the dress, and they'd have it shipped to their house. So if you guys are interested, even though you don't live in the Tulsa area, call him and uh, pick his brain on you know tractors and numbers and stuff. And well, they're the biggest. They have the biggest inventory. Yeah, so. and it's not just tractors. They have four wheelers. They have uh, side by sides. They have little uh, motorcycles. They got a bunch of stuff. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So check them out. Uh, I don't know if you put the link to their... Uh, this is your stuff, not mine. Well, I guess... Uh, I don't know if the link was added to the like their uh, website. I don't know. In the video? Yeah. No. But... They can check it out. Yeah. And uh, just ask any questions. Give him a call. He, he gave his personal cell phone number. He said that's the best way to get in contact with him. Yeah. I guarantee you'll have a great experience. Yeah, nice. Nicest guy. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end this video. We're both excited to get out to this property and uh, check out this new tractor. So yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.